Hi guys, in this second lesson on exponential equations, we use the method of trial and error to solve exponential equations when the bases are different. We will also solve a trinomial with fractions in its exponents. It is not always possible to write exponential equations as powers with equal bases, so we use the method of trial and error to find the approximate solutions. Look at this example. Solve for x, correct to one decimal place, if 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. We cannot make the bases the same, so we need to get an approximate answer through trial and error. Let me show you how. First, we need to find the approximate position of x on a number line. Find the powers of 2 that are on either side of 30 in value. 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. This is less than 30. 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 34. And this is more than 30. Let's write this in an inequality. 2 to the power of 4 is less than 30, which is less than 2 to the power of 5. This means that 2 to the power of x lies between 2 to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 5. Therefore, x lies between 4 and 5. Now we bisect the interval between 4 and 5. Remember, bisect just means divide into two equal parts. So x is approximately equal to 4 plus 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 4 and a half. If we use the calculator to work out 2 to the power of 4 comma 5, we get an answer of 22 comma 627, 417. This is less than 30. This means that we now know that 2 to the power of x is between 2 to the power of 4 comma 5 and 2 to the power of 5. Let's bisect this new interval to try to find a value closer to the value of x. So x is approximately equal to 4 and a half plus 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 4 comma 7 5. Let's work out 2 to the power of 4 comma 7 5 on a calculator. We get 26 comma 9 0 8 6 8. This is still less than 30. Therefore, we bisect the interval between 4, 7, 5 and 5 and get 4, 8, 7, 5. Let's punch this into a calculator. 2 to the power of 4, 8, 7, 5 is equal to 29, 3, 4. This is the closest we've been so far. So, Let's try going up to 2 to the power of 4, 9, and we get an answer of 29, 8, 5, 7. Therefore, x is approximately equal to 4, 9, rounded off to one decimal place. The method of trial and error is very time consuming and will take quite a bit of practice to master. Now let's look at solving exponential trinomials. For this question, we will use an example you were taught to factorize in the lesson on exponential factorizing. Solve for x. x to the power 2 thirds minus 3x to the power 1 third plus 2 equals 0. First, we have to factorize the trinomial. We can factorize. Write this as x to the power 1 third squared minus 3x to the power 1 third plus 2. We factorize this to get in the first bracket x to the power 1 third minus 1 and in the second bracket x to the power 1 third minus 2. This is a quadratic equation. So we let each bracket equal 0 and solve for x. From the first bracket we get x to the power 1 third equals 1 and the second bracket gives x to the power 1 third equals 2. To get rid of the power on the left hand side, we have to cube both sides. So we get just x on the left hand side and 1 cubed on the right hand side 
equals 1. Similarly, we solve the second equation to get x equals 8. So now you know how to solve exponential equations by trial and error and how to solve exponential trinomials. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents Task video. You'll also be able to learn more about Exponents on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.